Sometimes being a professed Christian is kind of hard, you know, because everyone likes to come right up to your face and tell you exactly why you're wrong. But also it's hard because, especially in these times, we don't really know where to stand on a lot of issues. Well, now you no longer need to wonder, what does the Bible say about why evil is allowed? This is usually a selling point for most skeptics, or at least skeptics who are open to having their mind changed, because awful things happen, terrible things are happening, and horrible things will happen. So what kind of loving God would put us through this? When God created the world, the world was perfect. This is shown in Genesis 1.31. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. However, mankind was created with the ability of choice, and Adam sinned when he ate the apple. Romans 5.12 says, When Adam sinned, sin entered the entire human race. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. I mean, that made it pretty clear that sin, death, and Adam are all intertwined there. And I know what you're thinking, well, crap, <laughs> I'm kind of screwed from the beginning, aren't I? Well, not to be a pessimist, but yeah. Romans 3.23, For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. So, yeah, you're kind of screwed from the beginning. Pastor Ed Taylor was right on when he said, We are not sinners because we sin. We sin because we are sinners. See, we have this almost natural desire to do what's wrong, as long as it benefits ourselves. James 4.1 says that there is a whole army of evil desires at war within you. However, we can't claim ignorance because God kind of laid down the law, literally. I mean, we have the Ten Commandments as well as Jesus' message, and if we don't follow those, then evil is the result. I mean, this is an unarguable fact. If you simply always follow the laws that are in the Bible, or simply just even the Ten Commandments, we wouldn't have nearly any of the problems in the world that we have today. And if you follow the Ten Commandments, you have to follow the eleventh one that was stated in Evan Almighty by Morgan Freeman, Thou shalt do the dance. But if you deny the fact that the Ten Commandments are literally the best laws to follow, I would like to see which commandment hurts people, because I can't think of any right now. So let's say that you realize, hey, maybe what this nerd is saying kind of makes sense. I mean, everyone who doesn't follow God's law winds up doing evil things, so maybe I should do something so I don't become an awful person. Yeah, didn't know I was a mind reader, did you? Well, let's be clear first. Following God doesn't mean success on this earth. Secular success is, al is not always directly linked to God. If it's part of his plan and you're following him, then yeah, you'll be making millions, you know? But it's not a guarantee. Just like the fact that people who don't follow God can be well set off on the earth. I mean, it happens. So keeping that in mind, there are some people who don't follow God who don't do evil things. And they don't hurt others, but they sin and don't repent. And that inherently, well, makes them bad. And it's hard to say it, and that may piss people off, but it's in the Bible, so we as Christians can't ignore that part. However, you will be hard-pressed to find any real, God-following Christian that does anything bad. The science is there. Once you surrender your life to Jesus Christ, you enter into the master plan that God has for you. And for that reason, you can be assured of the promise in his word. As Romans 8.28 says, everything works together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Sometimes what appears horribly evil and tragic can result in something good. Remember what Joseph said about his brother's wicked act of selling him into slavery? In him understanding that God had allowed this to happen so that he could be a man of power in Egypt, Joseph said, and I quote, You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I can save the lives of many people. Genesis 5.20, by the way. Forgot to cite that. See, nothing bad that happens happened for no reason. In one way or another, bad things are used for his purpose, but he does not do those bad things. As stated earlier, only people who do not follow God can do bad things. So because we have the free will to do things, 
If we do not submit to God, we are 100% more likely to do something wicked. Nobody knows what specifics God has in mind about the future. We know how it will all end, as Revelations tells us, which of course will be covered in a bunch of episodes later on down the road, but we don't know exactly what will happen before that, or even what our parts in the story are. But, the one thing we do know is who will be there for us when those bad things happen. I think the best way to end this video is with one last verse. Isaiah 43, 2-3 When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's really kind of interesting when you look at it from a perspective of if you follow God, you can't do anything bad. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, like it, dislike it, comment, whatever. I don't care. Have fun watching this, but if you want to catch the next ones and you want to be notified about it, then yeah, you can su subscribe. Or not. I don't really care. I'm just glad that you got the time to watch this video because I bet you liked it. And if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. God bless and may the force be with you. I don't know how many loads of laundry you can do in the span of like three minutes, but apparently it's a lot. All right. And the more I say sinners, the more I feel like I'm not even saying the right word. Sinner, 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 sinner. And if you follow the Ten Commandments, you have to follow the eleventh one that was stated in Evan Almighty by Morgan Freeman. Thou shalt do the dance. I mean, I don't, I don't see how that could hurt anyone. So. I don't know, I haven't seen the movie in like eight years, but yeah. See, nothing bad happens. Woo! Nobody knows what specifics God's... Woo! Huh. Interesting.